Welcome to a new video, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I want to talk really briefly about horsetail, also known as shave grass. This is an herb. It's often consumed as a tea, but some people will buy the dry bulk herb and then grind it themselves in a coffee grinder or a blender and then put it into capsules. Or you can even buy it from companies that sell it pre-capsulated. But I personally like buying things in bulk. You're going to save a lot of money that way, especially with herbs. And I just brew mine into a tea. I bring my water to a boil and then I'll turn it off. Once it starts boiling, I'll throw my herb or my horsetail in there, stir it around and let it cool. And then I'll throw that into the refrigerator and drink it chilled. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of stevia in it. I find that it tastes really good. And this is something that has really been a game changer for me, horsetail tea. It is really high in silica, ladies and gentlemen, which is great for the spine. It's great for the nerve cells and the connective tissues of the brain. And it also helps strengthen pretty much every part of your system. I do believe that silica is becoming a more and more difficult thing to get adequate concentrations of here in the matrix, along with, you know, things like magnesium that I talk about and selenium, but silica is a really special component. And unless you're eating very specific foods, it can be difficult to get adequate concentrations of silica into your diet and into your system and your body loves silica. Your hair loves silica and all of the constituents that are in horsetail. Horsetail has been used for hundreds of years for its health benefits. It has so many other health benefits other than it just being a bodily strengthener, a nerve cell strengthener, and a connective tissue strengthener. Um, but I'm not really going to get into many of those health benefits in this video. I just want to talk about and emphasize the strengthening qualities that horsetail has to your structure, into your bones, into your health. It has just a handful of great benefits in regards to those things. It's used often by people for hair loss. And I'm not going to lie, there was a period of time where I started losing hair randomly. And when I started using horsetail, I noticed that not only my, ho my hair was coming in thicker, but I stopped losing my, uh, my hair. It was getting really concerning taking showers. And every time I'd wash my hair, just seeing massive amounts of hair fall out of my head. Sometimes that can be, ladies and gentlemen, from a silica deficiency. So... Horsetail is great, um, but you know it's it's used for other things such as kidney and bladder stones and urinary tract infections and gout, uh, fluid retention, uh, and weak bones. So, I believe that the this is due to its silica concentration. It has a very strengthening system or quality to it, and it's cheap. It doesn't taste bad, and I find I find personally that it really helps with my sleep. Normally, I'll keep it in the refrigerator, chilled, uh, and I'll drink it a handful of times throughout the week. Sometimes I'll even drink it every day of the week, um, but sometimes I'll only drink, the, drink it a few times a week. But I still uh, get a lot of the health benefits from it, from drinking it only a few times a week. And, you know, with certain herbs, it's good to cycle them, and I think that that's the same with horsetail. You can drink it regularly, but there's going to be times where you want to stop and give your body a break from it. And then get back on it and you know horsetail is indeed one of those herbs at least in my opinion some people might think that you should consume it every day but i think it's great to cycle the things in the body and just uh not make your system too dependent on particular things even though they can be really good for you but uh you know skin quality my skin quality at least has has got really really or, or bleh, i can't speak today my skin my skin quality has improved since taking horsetail especially in unison with vitamin e vitamin e adequate levels of that and the use of horsetail has really helped my skin um so the pliability of my skin has increased the overall um tone of it as well and i do believe that this is largely due to adequate levels of silica being reintroduced into my system. Now, there's also really great silica supplements on the market. I'm going to do some videos on those in the near future, but or, horsetail is a good way to ensure that you get sufficient amounts of uh, silica into your system as well as many of the other um, you know, constituents that are found in horsetail. So I'm not saying that you should just drink massive amounts of this stuff. There is a balance here, but for the most part, you know, horsetail is safe. Yeah, I would, I would suggest if you are going to consume it, start off with a half a cup to a cup a day and just see how you feel from there. Um, because you never know how you're going to react to an herb or uh, anything. 
So horsetail has been used again for hundreds of years. It has massive amounts of beneficial constituents in it. One of those things being silica, which is again, great for the connective tissues of the brain. In my opinion, it is great for, you know, the memory. Um, yeah, you know, it's great for the hair and it just has an overall strengthening supportive quality to it, to every, you know, system in the body. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Just a brief little message, ladies and gentlemen, about horsetail tea or horsetail in general. I prefer it as a tea. Some people swear by it as a tea, whereas some people swear by it in capsules. It's all about working with it and discovering which one you like best. Peace be with you.